I genuinely believed the problem was having money in the account. I paid money on, I put my card into that POS. Actually slotted it in. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Back again, I'm back again, I'm back again. I've kind of lost my voice because <clears throat> the flu is going around. I don't know if it's just me, but the flu is really going around. Anyway, as you guys can tell by reading the title, some of you might be sad for me, some of you might be laughing. Some of you might just want to know how on earth <laughs> did she lose 2.5 grand in pounds? Because it's a very long story, it's a very sad story, and I've meaning to say it for the longest time, but I haven't like put myself together. But I think I've reached a spot in life where I can say this story without crying. And I was not about to leave you guys with an empty Sunday. I have to, I have to give, you understand? I have to be consistent with you guys. So I came up and I said I was going to do this story time. Guys, if you're new, welcome, join us, subscribe, like, share, everything, comment. And if you're a recently subscriber, welcome back. Anyway, I'm going to start this story from the beginning. In the beninging. Basically, guys, for people that are probably wondering how I had £2,500 in my account, I am an excessive saver. Like, I was an excessive saver. I save almost every single thing they sent me. Like, almost every single money my dad just sent to me, I'm saving it. Like, I'll buy, because in first year, this. Because in first year, yeah, basically, I, in first year, I had food. So, like, my accommodation money also included food. So, they were feeding us all the time and stuff. So, I had food. I didn't have to, like, cook. Although, I was still cooking from time to time because I had a kitchen and all. But I was cooking as much because there was food. Like, I literally just go and get food. So... I used to get food all the time, so I didn't really need to spend money, and I didn't know anyone, so it's not as if I was always going to the club, or, like, I knew people, though, but we're not always going to the club, I was barely using Uber, I'm telling you, my school, I was in the middle of school, basically, <laughs> I just saved almost every penny they sent to me, and then there was COVID, so during COVID, I was getting my money now, I spent your parents be sending you money for the month but then i wasn't doing anything because i was not leaving my house therefore that money too goes straight into the savings you spend like what highest 30 pounds of food in a month everything else goes into savings do you understand so basically i had saved that amount for the whole of my first year i had saved that amount and then I that's how much I had saved from everything I put and then I had let's say three thousand pounds in my account and I'd always I, I wanted to be a model I wanted to I wanted to be Eva Apio I thought that just perhaps one day I can be Eva I really thought so I signed up to two modeling agencies now I know someone that was in one of them and I signed up to the two and before this thing happened you guys, I was in my spiritual realm. <laughs> it was me and Jesus. It was a case of I was seriously that period. I was like so serious, praying all the time. Da, 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 da. In fact, I was fasting. I was in a fasting program that period. I look really pretty. <laughs> I was in a fasting program that period, and then I was like, ah, let me apply. Da, 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 da. I applied to the two of them, and then I slept and woke up, and I got answers from the two of them like i've moved on to the next stage blah 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 blah. now this one tells me to pay one doesn't tell me to pay but one tells me to pay i don't know i was sketchy about it but i was like you know god will not do something to me that you understand he does not want to happen and whatnot 
Then I was telling myself, Mumu, ah, go for it. Everything, everything. So one was in London. So basically, um, I went to Chira's house and then he followed me to London. And we went to London and... <coughs> sorry. We went to London for the fake one. Now, this is fake one, basically. The real one, bear in mind, I didn't get past that stage. I just... It's just the real agency just kicked me out genuinely they, i didn't really get it but this fake one ah we got to london we finally got to the place you guys when i tell you it looked so legit like i'm not even lying there were bodyguards in the front checking temperature signing da -da 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 -da. we went in they said it's downstairs we saw other people queuing downstairs we're signing different things signing it all we finally got inside they said we should wait they even told chira to leave at some point because it was too full they had other clients coming in like i'm telling oh my god it was so legit and then we get in there and then i i was finding my turn for the shoot you guys i looked ugly like when i say the makeup that these white makeup artists did for me was ugly like the man didn't even know how to carry my braids up he was just i don't know what kind of rubbish she was doing to my hair i was just like hmm, let me just be calm let me not say anything and then he goes to i go to the first shoot because he told me to bring three outfits i brought three different ever i bought new outfits from pretty little thing for them for them and then it but what's their name ah LTFM, they call themselves social media models when I check them home. But apparently, I don't even think there's any point of checking. Like, apparently, they change their name every single time they do something new or whatever. So, but coming back, we got there, I did the shoots and everything, took pictures, whatever, whatever. They had studios, everything was 100% legit. And then, please tell me why. Please oh, tell me why I get to the play like it gets I'm supposed to do my interview you guys are the story is getting weird in my head but I was supposed to do my interview so they told me that after I done my shoots I can go outside and then my interview is at one particular time whatever so Chira and I went out we went to go and eat and then we came back for the interview now I went to the interview with him and then the man basically shows me all the pictures I take. This guy was smelling like money. Like, oh God, he was smelling like money. I didn't know he was using scam money to be smelling like money. Oh God. Oh my Jesus. So, basically, comes, he tells me, oh, your pictures are so nice. And do you know you're our first plus size model? Me too, I'm like, ah, just perhaps maybe nobody wanted to apply here and I'm the first. Okay, God is working wonders for me. <laughs> and then I'm like, ah, okay, let me like, you know, see what else he has to say. And he's talking about how, oh, what they do here is that when you take pictures, the reason it takes time between the pictures and your interview is because they're trying to send out your pictures to different like companies and stuff. So it's not like they send it out to different companies. So basically when you're coming for your interview, some companies might have answered by that time. If they haven't, it's fine. Like just move on. I was like, okay. So they told me that, um, what's the name of these people? What's their name? I forgot. They told me, mm -hmm, they told me that Under Armour, <laughs> Under Armour has agreed to have me as their next model. You know, they even told me, oh, to be in London, they will pay for my accommodation and my trip, and that I'll get three thousand pounds, like literally. And then I think I was supposed to give them a percentage. So at the end of the day. I'll get 2,800 pounds. I'll give them 200 pounds as like the agency, basically. I was like, oh, that like that's reasonable. And they were like Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> oh my god. So that Ben and Jerry's also said that they wanted me for an ATV advert. 
that was another three grand i was like ah. see money now two grand 2.8 2.8 that that's plenty money that is that is how much mental math mental math mental math six carry one five thousand six hundred pounds five thousand six hundred pounds like i was just like mm, this is like a lot of money you get to make in one month and that was for one month so after that bear in mind i don't know anything about modeling i don't know that's that was the problem i didn't research anything i just thought god will do it for me let me just move forward god will do everything for me so i he now told me about packages that they have so they have different contracts basically to sign and the first contract was the 2500 pound contract you guys the problem no i genuinely believe the problem was having money in the account the problem was having money there because if i didn't have money in my account i would have settled for one kind of installment plan where i would have probably paid only 200 pounds and i would have realized it was a scam and stopped paying do you understand uh, oh my jesus christ the problem was ha- that saving it i'm telling you the way it destroyed my saving culture for a long time <laughs> Hey God, basically I said there was 2,500, there was the 4,000 pounds and there was a 6,000 pound package. These people are scamming people. Who's spitting at some Okay. Oh God. So basically I'm like, okay, the 2,500 pound, cause the 6,000 pound package came with social media ma- managers, but somebody will call, somebody from Instagram is coming to help. You know, now that I'm actually saying it, I feel like a fool, like an idiot. And then he basically, the guy was basically like, oh, that um, the one that I wanted. Basically, I promise you, you guys, mistake. If I had had four thousand pounds in my account, just perhaps I would have paid for that thing. So basically, I go and then I'm like so excited to pay. Like, I'm telling you, Jira was beside me and he was very, like, he was even like, ah, maybe I should come and do this one too because it's looking like a nice deal. Because to me, yeah, you guys, I'm not going to lie, that was a bargain to me. Because he said if I paid £2,500 for a contract, I get the money back at the end of the year. So basically, the contract is for a year. At the end of the year, if I don't want to do this anymore, I get the money back. So to me, it wasn't like I was actually paying anything. Do you get what I mean? So it was like, I pay this money. You're giving it back to me at the end of the year. If I don't want to continue my contract. It's kind of just like a holding fee. Just to assure you that you're in this contract. If you try to run away, your money is also going with us. That kind of thing, I guess. That's what was in my head. And plus, I felt like I was about to make 5.6 grand. So what is 2,500 pounds to me right now? When I'm about to make this much money. And then, uh, I paid money on... I put my card into that POS. Actually, slotted it in. In fact, I transferred. Oh God, I transferred the money to the current account. And then, you guys, please bear in mind, my mom and my sister had just come to the UK. Yeah, for my sister's school thingy. And then, their Nigerian cards were not working because Nigeria is just mad. And I had to basically do every single thing. And I only had 500 pounds in my account. So we left London now, and I was so happy, so excited. And then I get home, and I call my friend, and please tell me why she's like, Pedro, you paid 2,500 pounds. I was really trying to explain to her, ah, no, 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 look at it this way. If I paid this money, I'm getting it back, but I'm about to make 5.6 grand, and next week is my contract, they're sending me email. Okay. She said, let me just go and do small research. She opened Google and searched their name like this. Scam, 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 scam. Do you know my heart was beating? <coughs> Sorry. My heart was beating. And then, ah, fucking hell. We got to the the train station because we were going, I was going back to Leeds the next day. I was trying not to think about it. I was going back to Leeds the next day. And then this guy calls Chidara because you know Chidara said he wanted to, you know, the man just said, I'll give you my private number. He calls Chidara and Chidara is like, 
he's not like oh apparently when you were there oh oh god you guys i don't know how to tell stories i don't you see that beginning before i came here because i was telling them i couldn't come for that day and they said that that's the best time to come because recruiters are going to be there to like recruit you and whatever so you guys now call Chira and told Chira, uh somebody from i forgot what business but somebody from something was there and just saw him and wanted him to come for a shoot or hey god Chira just said oh yeah okay i'll let you know when i'm available Chira said pedro we'll find out whether you all is a scam first before he will move forward and then they had sent me the email and they had called me but they called me at what five i mean five a.m and before a.m who is going to pick up the caller for who is awake at that time so it was a case of i didn't pick up the call and i tried to call them back but the call was not going to Try to email them, it wasn't happening. You know, I even they even sent me another and these emails they were sending me was emails of my pictures and my website that I paid for. Then they sent me all the emails necessary, but nothing inside there was a Ben and Jerry's or a under or an under armor or hair a big, I can't even talk again. Or an under armor contract. I called this man's private number. He tells me, Oh, I'll tell them to get you, I'll tell them to get you. I keep doing this you guys know in fact I'm going to call his number right now and see if he picks or even if he rings because he probably has blocked me Hello? hi um I'm one of the girls that came to apply for modeling about a year ago and still hasn't gotten anything. Oh, for the modeling work? Mm hmm. Yeah, I've stopped working for that company. Why? Uh, why have I stopped working? Yeah. They stopped offering work. They stopped what? Sorry? They stopped what? They stopped offering work. Why? I think they shut down the company. Because they took my money and I've gotten nothing, no emails, no numbers, and you were the one that literally gave me the POS to take my money. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, I understand that. I mean, the best thing probably to do is, I, I believe that we might still be working out the same location over the weekend, so maybe you take to give, give a look on Sunday. And we'll go to them tomorrow, the same place, and see what they say. Okay, alright. That's the best option. You can speak to them in person. Okay. Thank you. Does he think I'm a fool? Man said I'll stop working for the company because they stopped offering work. But I should go there on Sunday and see. You guys, I legit thought I was going to. Let me tell you what happened. The last time I called this man, he said. I told him, oh, he said I was going to get the money after, and he got the call on me. He literally called the call on me. I don't know how he hasn't blocked my number because I have called him so many times. But you guys heard it from his mouth. Now he spoke and said, oh, I stopped working for them because they stopped offering work. I should go to the office. I will report to that office, no, no. I'm actually going to call the police and I'm going to report that office because it has to be crack. He has to be on crack because I'm going to report him too. Because he gave me the POS. The person that gave me the POS is the person that's at fault. Basically, Sham, I never heard from them again. They never just did anything. And for a long time, I just kept telling myself, you know, God will not give you a situation you cannot handle. And if I tell you that, I don't know how I managed to actually do everything I had to do with the money I had in my account. Because I promise you, I did so much. But I don't know. God, when I say God, God is wonderful. Because I don't know how I did what I did in the space of how many months with money that was in my account. I don't. Because it just, it was like all my savings just went flush down the toilet. Someone just took my money and that was it. <laughs> but yeah, basically, that's the scam. That's actually the whole story. And I've got to know right now like i feel like a lot of people get scammed in the world and whatnot and really and truly 
mm -mm. like you will need to be aware like the google google is there for a reason that was my mistake i actually did not search up or anything google is there for a reason so i think that personally when it comes to modeling because lots of people want to model i think you should actually one research their reviews because there could actually even be good modeling like actual real modeling agencies that have bad reviews because maybe the models just don't like what they do there always search for their reviews make sure they have an instagram account that is verified like look at all these things that i didn't look at please nobody 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 should come and be getting scammed again in this life i'm not i'm this can happen nobody's allowed to get scammed again are we in this together yeah thank you but yeah that's the end of my story guys i literally just got scammed of the money and now this bitch is telling me that i don't work there anymore but yeah try not to get scammed kids use google get your information before you do anything this is the end of my story time i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to comment what other videos you want to see or comment how you feel about the situation really and truly because i actually want to know how you guys feel about the situation because it's a very sticky situation but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye